unexpected crashes are always fun. deal with that group. Did that parrot say it? That's the way where that guy was. What? Scott. Exterminator. 
Oh, jeez. delayed drain but cool yeah shouldn't have tempted fate I'm definitely brushing up against dupes that hit a bit harder I should save and see if I can get any uh, Actually, I got a hint for talking to that fake vampire hunting guy. I should see if I can talk to him, learn anything new, and then maybe sleep to see if I can use what little XP I have to maybe get one of those specials. Timey shoes. I'm the only guy around. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Never faced, let alone killed, a vampire Ichabod. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my achievements, but I'm totally dedicated to my quest. You have courage, Mr. Throgmorton. Perhaps that is all one requires to face the demons. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You'll see. One day I'll find and kill one of these monstrosities with my own two hands. Oh, hit failed. You've never faced. No, I'm not. You have cut. Thank you. No, oh, okay. Because I screwed that up. Goodbye. Nicely done, me. I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't know. I can't, no, sleeping should revive. But I refill all my stuff. Jeez, strobe light. Okay, what do I got here? I can go into a rage. I can create a shadow vortex. Come 
coming to life, the shadows interrupt an enemy in the area and inflict tremendous damage. Uh, so this doesn't say how much damage. Okay, so that's just 200 damage. 600 shadow damage? And 400 blood. Let's see, that's 400 blood, but then 230 damage. This is blood. Damage, blood, shadow. Would it help to be mixy matchy? It's like split damage. Hmm. I mean, maybe I should stick with the blood theme. Oh, this sounds nefarious. Oh, a thousand crap. Well, Does it work though? Is it like always active? I can only have two active skills at once. a zero of that number, so that, that's what I meant. No, definitely can't afford that. save if I need 400 more. Switch this back to super shoddy. I mean, these guys are just whooping me. Or 
We're gonna jump across this way. Or did I have to go through there maybe to get the shortcut? Well, all those guys should be dead though. Oh. Oh, are they respawn now? Because it's a new day. his buddy that gassed me or he did when he died yeah I'm definitely tangoing with I should retreat to not that area the other one kind of back towards the sewer and maybe clear out those guys to try and get some more XP because at least they are a little bit closer to my level also being in that tight corridor was probably not a smart idea. I thought his weaker friend would come and I could just pick him off a little bit easier. here I guess. At least those people should be easier to fight. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Do you need any help? Rest assured, I will help you, sir. Martin Nightingale, at your service. Please, oh, yeah. take a look at my wares. Ha! <laughs> your merchandise. I don't really see anything worth having. No offense. None taken, sir. But please, I need to eat. Perhaps if you keep looking, you'd see something that takes your fancy. Show me what you have to offer then, Mr. Nightingale. Oh, dang it, what was it that I... I should sell this. Um... What did I need? Crap. that he is right next to workbench is pretty great. Let's 
easy. Good evening, young man. There's no need to... Show me what you have to offer then, Mr. Nightingale. Oh, right, I have to do that upgrade first. That'll work for this. Yes. It's not too shabby. So much noise. No right, let's get to know you. Good evening, young man. There's no need to call me that. Why not try seeking help instead of peddling your wares? I'm sure there are people around here that would gladly help. There's always the night asylum. I heard it's run by a very nice man, but I'm no beggar. Not yet, at least. There is no shame in asking for help, my boy. Sometimes it can even be the best course of action. I don't feel okay with that. I'm gonna make a name for myself, and I'll do it by myself. Young man, do you require medical attention? I'm perfectly fine, thank you. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? Have you got any friends around these parts? Not really. Miss Gillingham smiles and says kind words, but I know she's lost her marbles, especially since her son died. Tell me about this crazy woman. Madness is often mistaken for other conditions. The poor woman's mad, all right. Kind and all, but she has so much trouble remembering things. She's taken me for a son more than once. Interesting. How interesting. Yeah. I don't suppose you know what happened to her son. Jack! Rumor has it he tried to tackle some gang lads. I didn't know him well, but I heard he was a nice enough chap. His old ma still thinks he's around. Let me be frank. You're as much of a businessman as I am a werewolf, right? Who the hell are you to question me? It's hard enough to stay clean when you don't have a place to sleep. I'm doing my best here. I meant no offense, Mr. Nightingale. I was merely pointing out the fact that you're unlikely to survive long if you continue wandering this path. And what should I do then, sir? Jeez. Should I join the Brutal. wet boot boys like so many others? No thanks. I'd rather be a bad seller than a dead gang member. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. May I come in? I already took my medication, doctor. Uh, but thank you. I'm sorry, your medication? Have we met before? 
Don't tease me like that, Jack. Sorry, what? I think I should come in, miss. I'd like to check if everything is okay, what with the epidemic spreading across London. An epidemic, you say? How terrible. I had no idea. But where are my manners? Please do come in, Doctor. You... you are a doctor, yes? Yes, I am. I thought that pop up was that I had to defeat her. Uh, Read this note. Killed him. My boot boys. It's locked. So far, I can get with her. I feel just be like talking so, in circles. Talk to Tippett. <laughs> what brings you back here? I heard whispers you had a job at that fancy hospital. I told you my name is Jonathan Reed. Don't you remember? Of course I do. I remember my name too. Gillingham. But you may call me Enid, Doctor. I'm very happy to see you again. Is anyone taking care of you, Miss Gillingham? My son is always here to take care of me. He's a good boy like that, but I do worry that he needs to start living his own life. Well, I would never say that to him, of course. Who are the more influential figures on the docks? Well, I heard about some terrible illness going around. I would say in that case that it's you, Dr. Tippett's. Who are the most? What can you tell me about this part of town? Oh no, I don't gossip. That would be most unbecoming of a lady such as myself. Goodbye, Let's Mr. See if I can craft that. I don't think I have the ingredients for it, though. Things. Shimmery here. No, oh, I could have gotten here instead of paying for it. Dang it. Valuables? Oh, I don't have those. Let's see if I can make headache medicine for the, that old lady.
Oh. Yes, because vampires, right. Uh, sepsis, anemia, fatigue, cold, bronchitis, pneumonia. I have something for headache? Huh. Because I haven't discovered that treatment yet. Neat. Oops. Alright, how do I get back to the hospital? Guess I'll just go that way and see if I can farm a little more XP. Shiny box. Oh, it's shotguns. Shotguns. Shotgun shells. He's not as strong as those other feathers. He's a bit stronger. Step oh, away, sir. You. Some useful stuff. Oh, 
Over there! There's one of them vermin! No, uh You're one of them vermin. Double shot. You don't normally do that. Oh, I totally missed this last time. Like infinite stamina. Easy, does it, boys? Die, vermin! Push him off the edge. No, nope, I'm, I'm back here. Okay. I don't think he's well, maybe. He kinda seems like he's in a wall, so Huh. Be very nice. 
But they'd give me decent XP. These guys are not getting me a ton of XP. Jump across there. I must have. Can I get back to here. Mm, sweet, sweet. Trash bullets. Oh, she's really murdered. Murdering in here. I like that this house is full of money for me. Are you certain you're not lost, sir? No, oh, I'm all the way back here again. Stranger to these parts. Well then. I think I want to do that. Nope. Nope, nope, I don't. Good evening, sir. Whatever. 
Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Dude, Jonathan I Reed. Watched you, I'm like, Dyson Delaney. Murder a kid. I'll try to remember you. It's time. Inebriation aside, do you need medical help? Yes. I feel sicker than usual these days. Take this, then. And perhaps you could try to slow down the alcohol intake, too. Hey, Doc, you don't really want me to stop the only remedy I can afford. He is a bit of a butt. 500 XP. I can mesmerize him pretty easily. See if someone else is nearby. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Kind of a bad man, Mr. Delaney. There's some new people. Good evening, sir. Good, good evening. evening. Boosts. Why must it always be a good evening? I was just being polite. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you some questions, if I may. Don't like questions. Or doctors. And the name is Seymour Fishburn, if you must know. Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> That's something I didn't expect to hear again. A doctor concerned with the health of his patients. Yeah, I could use some help, on several matters, in fact. I don't know which kind of doctor you're used to dealing with, but it's a doctor's purpose to heal people. And is it your purpose as well, Mr. Reed? I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. Oh, really now? What can you tell me about a shithole filled with maggots? Liars and thieves, all of them. Is there no one who deserves your leniency, then? Well, Tom from our local is somewhat of a decent bloke. At least, unlike most maggots, he knows how to listen without opening his trap. Are you thinking about someone in particular? No. Nope. Hate them all. Especially these petty, whining little shitbag beggars. A friendly fellow. What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. It's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. Sometimes it's hard to be a good son. I just want her to smile. No, I was thankful for her patience, appreciated like. God knows she deserves it. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburn. All these whispers of monsters got folk gossiping and scared. It's people they should fear. Okay, that's Flesh and blood. good. Hello, I boy. From him. Uh, Hello. Good evening. Did Hello, I scare you? Boy. You have nothing to fear from me. Except my fangs. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the docks, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the dogs. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. 
What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. Don't have any treatment from you. I mean, uh, anemia, my god. I did. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough? No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. You should be careful, Rufus. There are things that lurk in the shadows of this city. Things that prey on the lonely and the desperate. Well, I've known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. So long, Rufus. Some call this the bad part of town. Dang it. Ten off. Get more info since I gained that tidbit from him. Good evening, Mr. Fitch. Yeah, yeah. No, of course not. Goodbye, Mr. That hint didn't really help a whole lot. I keep wanting to use the wrong triggers for zooming in and out. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Oh. What a friendly fellow. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? So you're a concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. I could kill you for yeah. saying that. But... Nah, you've been a soldier. I can respect that. Can you? So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right? The wet boot boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. Don't you think you're a fancy What fans? can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And if Weena says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? 
You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient. My sweet queen of the docks. I know you're looking for an honest job, Booth. You're tired of this criminal life, aren't you? It's just an idea. Edwina loves to run things so much. You can never really leave the gang. Wet boys for life, you know? Mm, yes, gangs. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Yes. Here. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> oh, yes, you're the grifter. pneumonia Get me an ultimate here. Stable, eh? equip more okay I see so it's both triggers good to know do I what does it cost oh it just it just has a minute cooldown is that it Got no idea. 
not terrible. the sewers. Oh, yes. Please do not ignite your kitchen. Can I track that on my map now? Oh, it's literally just like, hey, it's in this whole area. That's not horribly helpful. Considering this place is like a maze. Fight those Fire guys. Scary guy's gonna be gone, right? Oh, I kinda don't wanna go that way anyway. It's locked, all right.
So that doesn't cost any blood, it's just on a cooldown. Which, I mean, depending on the battle, I mean, it's quite a long time. I'm gonna use the shotgun. I want it to be like a Kerbal Ammo. Oh no, I already got that, I guess. Good trigger part. Hmm, interesting. Can really specialize it. It's kinda neat. Save. Damn, everyone's getting afflicted. Dang. I don't really got tons and tons of... menu of humans. Alright, well, I'm going to stop there for tonight. I started a little bit earlier than normal, so sorry for the folks just jumping in. A bit of a longer day, so not going quite as late. See ya!